Hey guys, welcome back to Anxiety Kitchen. I feel like I should start doing a little intro saying, Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, I make food. Sometimes there's a theme. Sometimes there's not. Sometimes I just make it because I want to. Um, but if you haven't already, you should um, like and subscribe because I need validation. Anyways, um, this week I'm going to make beignets. Um, I've been reading the Sookie Stackhouse series by Charlene Harris, um, the, the show based on it, uh, True Blood, <clears throat> was not like the books, <laughs> but um, I do really like the books. But anyway, so I was rereading the books, and uh, if you don't know, it takes place in uh, rural Louisiana, and... Um, there are a couple times throughout the book that um, Sookie ends up in New Orleans. And of course, when she's in New Orleans, she has beignets, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's, it's like a big, beignets are a big thing um, in New Orleans, if you don't know. And apparently also, the devil likes to eat beignets. <laughs> um, Anyways, so I have never had beignets. I have made donuts a couple of times because uh, I made ponchkis before and then I made those um, cardamom donuts. I still think about those. And one day I'll make them again, but it requires a special trip to uh, Wegmans and I just can't be bothered most of the time. But today 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 i am gonna make beignets um i am running on like five hours of sleep <laughs> because we spent all day uh prepping stuff because we are fencing in our entire property and we're getting rescue horses um i'm really excited but i'm already like exhausted and we haven't even actually started putting in the fence yet we were just doing prepping we spent all day in the woods cutting things down and I'm tired. And then I had friends of mine come over. Hi, Kara. Um, <laughs> and Pat. Hi, Pat. I know Kara watches. I don't know if Pat watches. But um, they came over. I made dinner. And we stayed up playing games. And it was just like, I don't know. That's such like a, like a wholesome friend activity is, you know, to have your friends come over, make dinner, and play games. But uh, we were up way past our normal bedtime because, you know, if you, if you have kids or, you know, you have a farm, you know, like, if you're not up by 7 o'clock in the morning, like, probably going to be in trouble. Um, so we were up way past our normal bedtime, but it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed myself. So, worth it. <laughs> but today... Um, we are going to be working on fencing, um, and we have actually some more friends that are going to come over and help. So I figured perfect day to make beignets because, um, I can make other people eat them. So anyways, I'm going to get started. Um, I've already prepped my, um, milk, water, sugar, and yeast, and they've just been sitting in this bowl uh, looking very gross, actually. Um, but it's uh, buttermilk, so it's kind of chunky. Um, so yeah, I've got that, and that's that's ready to add more stuff to it. Um, in another bowl, I just have flour and salt. Set that aside. We'll come to it later. Um, for my yeast mixture, um, I need to add uh, melted butter one egg and vanilla and mix that up so i'll need to melt my butter um do i have two no of course not okay two tablespoons of butter on the moment excuse you freddy okay so i added my egg and my vanilla um and then my melted butter Stir. You saw nothing. And I'm just gonna stir this until a 
like soft dough forms and then we are going to knead it. satisfying. the smell of donuts look at these aren't they cute they're like little little pillows okay I have read proper ways to eat beignets um, typically uh, warm and um, like tiramisu don't breathe in before you eat it so oh my god Look. Mm. That's really good. Mm. They're like little pillows. That's not the love. Mm. So you can fill beignets with anything. You can fill them with jam or whatever, or just eat them with the powdered sugar. That's the classic beignet. Um, and <laughs> for whatever reason, beignets are um, typically served in orders of three. Uh, apparently, way back when the first uh, beignets the guy served them in sets of three and it has stuck and there's always sets of three so whatever three's company in my belly <laughs> anyways um yeah this was super simple um if you ever want to have like a you know i don't know a mardi gras party or a new orleans theme party is that a thing whatever um or if you just want something that's not good for you <laughs> it's good for your soul <laughs> um then i i highly recommend whipping these up because it's very easy um you don't need any special equipment you just mix it up with your hands and um it's delicious honestly the hardest part about it for me is waiting for the oil to heat up but 10 out of 10 these are delicious uh highly highly recommend if you guys have any um sorry i had sugar <laughs> if you have any suggestions for future shows um especially if it's uh something like a food from a book let me know um open to to all all things um but Yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna finish frying these up and then I have to go change because now I have to go do manual labor. Um, but yes, hope you guys are doing well. I will try and do my best to see you next Tuesday.